down here are steep turns. Steep turns are just what they sound like. We're going to do a turn in each direction at a steep bank. For private pilot, it's 45 degrees, which is indicated by the dot on the uh, attitude indicator here. Um, the key to this maneuver is to do it by looking outside. Um, you want to make a 45 degree angle with the cowling slash glare shield and the horizon. Um, and keep that angle at the same spot all the way around for each turn. Now, since we don't sit in the middle of the airplane, um, the, it's going to be slightly different view for each direction of turn. Um, so we're going to have to ourselves the configuration airspeed as well as altitude. We're above 1,500 feet AGL, so we're good. Our configuration is a, is a cruise configuration. Uh, so no flaps, no nothing. Our airspeed is at or below maneuvering speed. Maneuvering speed changes based on the weight with one or two people and not quite full of tanks. We're not going to be at our maximum maneuvering speed. So if we start anywhere between 85 and 95, that's pretty good. The trick is, is that throughout the maneuver, we need to maintain that airspeed. So to do that, as we start our turn, we're going to bump the power up a little bit, 50 to 100 RPM. As we pass through about 30 degrees of bank, that's when the back pressure is going to increase substantially to keep our uh, altitude where it is. We lose a huge amount or a lot of our vertical component of lift that turns into horizontal component of lift as we turn past 30 degrees of bank. So the back vector required to maintain altitude must increase. You can either trim with a couple rows of the trim or just hold the back vector in yourself. So I'm going to start about 23, 2400 RPM, get myself stabilized. I'm right about 85, 90 knots. I'm going to make a visually clear to the left and then we'll start this turn to the left. Before I start, I maneuver must incorporate a clearing turn before you start. I already cleared the area. So here we go. Going to start that turn to left, increase my power a little bit, about 100 RPM, past 30, going to increase that back pressure, letter to maintain coordination, and yeah, get that picture up there. As we make this turn here, you can see that angle of the glare shield and horizon. Um, right about 45 degrees, I verify that by looking inside here. We want to spend the most of our time, like 75% of our attention needs to be outside. We look inside just to make sure that our altitude, airspeed, heading, wherever is where uh, we want it to be. As we approach our heading of south, we're going to start to roll out that bank. Going to have to release back pressure, so I have to push forward a little bit, keep our flows from ballooning. Look to the right, it is clear. Start that right turn, path 30, increase that back pressure. Now this picture is a little bit different because again, I'm not sitting at the, in the middle of the airplane. So it actually looks like the nose is lowered, but it is not. I'm just sitting closer to the high side of the airplane. Again, letter to keep coordination, small corrections here to keep my altitude and my bank. your attention inside and outside, mostly outside, just inside and out to check. As we approach out, blow those wings out, push forward to prevent the balloon, power back to the cruise setting that we had. So there are deep turns for you. 